Now we're looking at Shining in the Darkness, and uh, this game was the progenitor for the Shining Force series. It kept the Shining name, but is vastly different in the gameplay. Uh, the Shining Force games would be... Uh, Tactics-based? Yeah, tactical strategy RPGs, and uh, this is a uh, dungeon crawler, so big difference. As you can see, the... Uh little attempt at 3D there. <laughs> There's the king. And as most RPGs, they um, will talk to you quite a bit. And you can choose who you're speaking to. Now there are only two trials. Mm -hmm. Now we move on to a different area. So now we enter a dungeon. So as you can see, it's a first-person affair. This one kind of looks a lot like um, the original Fantasy Star as far as its dungeon crawling go went. Yeah, and I think uh, maybe that's where they went with the series. Now, uh, one interesting thing is the interface here with the animated uh, attack buttons is something that would carry on in the Shining Force series, as would the... Uh, kind of the attack screen but they they changed the gameplay drastically yeah it's not like the original shining force games where you choose how many blocks you have to move and then what kind of attack you're gonna do it's they completely went for more of a traditional RPG with this game and I think that's what set it apart from the other ones so apparently we can't go this way can't go through that door but so uh, this is Funny, a lot of oozes. Yeah, this is a, a very basic area, but this gives you an idea of what the game was like. It had good graphics, uh, and um, the the later Shining Force one and two games on Genesis would be uh, phenomenal. Um, but this game definitely had its charms, and uh, if you like uh, dungeon crawling RPGs, it's definitely uh, a great classic. So. Um, there's a quick look at uh, Shining in the Darkness. We'll go ahead and uh, look at a spell here real quick. Blast. Yeah, we'll go ahead and blast this slimy ooze. So there you get a little animation with your attack, with your magic attacks. Oh, you wiped them all out. Awesome. That was Shining in the Darkness. All right, continuing on here on Console Wars of the Past Part 3, we're going to take a look at uh, um, NHL Hockey for the Sega Genesis. Another Electronic Arts EA Sports uh, sports title. And uh, as we spoke, they were prolific on the Genesis and released pretty much every major sport. And uh, so here's their take on hockey. And you can see uh, this is a pretty refined and uh, pretty decent looking sports game. I think of uh, the ones we've looked at so far, this is probably the, uh, the best put together one. Yeah, this was one of my favorites back when I was um, playing my Genesis. Now, um... You can also use the puck as a weapon in this <laughs> game. I used to do that and just randomly hit people. Uh, I would always like to start fights. I'm going to try and start a fight here. Or score a goal, depending on what I can do here. Since I have the penguins, I'll probably score a goal before I start a fight. But Yeah, this was back in the penguins' glory days. And if I can get enough speed going here, I'll show you a neat little trick. The, uh... The infamous wrap around the goalie trick. He's uh usually they're not too quick to catch on that. You just wrap around the goalie and they don't see you coming and go the other way. 
or he could try and go in front and backhand oh. it like that. I learned all the goal scoring tricks in this game. <laughs> yeah, and if you wanted to be a real jerk, you could just fire the puck at somebody, hit him in the face, knock him down. It, it really took the brutality of hockey to the next level. <laughs> yeah, this is um, uh, definitely a great hockey yeah. game. And, and just randomly hit people. There was a lot of hockey games on the Genesis. Yeah, hockey was kind of coming into its own as um, a major sport again. It kind of had a little boom back in the late 90s when... Um, they got the television rights went to Fox who had done a good job of jazzing up the uh, NFL so when Fox Sports kinda took over they uh, had a little boom and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get into a fight here <laughs> I'm gonna try I'm gonna try really hard but they're just having me score goals they won't Apparently. let me get into a fight <laughs> Apparently the Rangers aren't here to fight. Or is that is that the Rangers? That's the Islanders. Oh, yes. Or you can just hit them afterwards. It's kind of NFL Blitz style, but hey. It's hockey. That's... It's part of the game. Yeah. And if it's in the game... It's in the game. It sure is. So... That's a look at NHL hockey. Continuing on here, SEGA! We're going to take a look at Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So now, as you can see, this is a continuation of the Sonic series. Pretty much directly after Sonic 2, it seems. And there's a look at Super Sonic. If you get all the Chaos Emeralds, you become Super Sonic. And the introduction of Knuckles! to the series who constantly taunts you throughout the game what a dick and that this was knuckles. also considered one of the hardest Sonic games of pretty much all time they're always trying to trip you up and throw that challenge at you so what was there in Sonic 2 with the ease of play kinda got lost in this one for some reason and you can see uh, Tails tries to keep up but he gets lost because there's a lot of stuff going on in this game and it's hard for him to just tag along. He gets caught up a lot, so I'm going to hop in and play his Tails here. I'll play the plucky Miles Tails Per Hour, which is a fairly clever name, I always thought. As you can see, the uh, little scaling animation. Why is... okay. Apparently that's on the outside of the tree. So we'll, uh... Hmm. I was never really good at Sonic 3. Just because it was, a. Uh... I don't know, it was overly frustrating. They threw in stuff that shouldn't have even been there. And then you have extra little bosses in this one, too. Like, this thing can't take away your rings. You can take away your rings, but you can't kill it. You can hit it, but you can't kill it. But it has changed the entire environment, and uh, they would use that in this uh, throughout the game. Spider-Man, just two hot names of the games, games, games. Sega Genesis systems and games sold separately, available at these fine stores. Two